When you stretch each morning, you increase your flexibility, reduce your stress, and increase your energy for the entire day. I'm Leslie Fightmaster. I used to not even be able to touch my toes, and now I'm a yoga teacher trainer. I grew up in Buffalo, New York. I was depressed growing up, and yoga helps. It is not a cure, but it's a treatment. This channel isn't for people looking for a quick fix. It's not for perfect people. This channel is for people who are looking to dig in a little bit deeper and really get to their true self. We are Thais and Halcyon from Mexico, and you're practicing Fight Master Yoga. Welcome to Fight Master Yoga. Good morning. I'm so proud of you for showing up today. As we go through our 10 minute stretch, pay attention to your breath and the sensations in your body. Do your best and stay in the present moment. Bringing hands together. May your practice quiet your mind, connecting you to your best self. Releasing the hands, lean back, switch the cross of your legs. Inhale, sweep your arms up, palms facing in, ribs in. Exhale, take your right hand down and lean over to the right. Draw your shoulders away from your ears, stretching through the left side of the body. Keep the sitting bones down. Reach up, inhale. Exhale, left hand down, reach the right arm over. Stretching through the right side. Keep grounding down through both of your sitting bones evenly. Inhale, come on through center. Exhale, fingertips in front. Pull the chest forward, inhale. Exhale, fold forward any amount. Keep the spine long instead of letting the back round. Keep lengthening, so hinging from the hips to come forward. Inhale to come up and switch the cross. Keep the sitting bones grounded down. Take your left ear to left shoulder. Bring your left hand on top of the head and right arm out, flexing the wrist. So not pulling with the left hand, it's just giving you a little extra weight. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Allowing the neck to stretch. Inhale, center. Exhale, right ear to right shoulder, right hand on the head. Not pulling, just a little extra weight. Take the left arm out, flex your wrist. Stretching all the way down the neck into the shoulder. Inhale, make your way to center, fingertips in front, pull the chest forward, exhale, hinging from the hips to fold any amount. Releasing shoulders, soften your jaw, and breathe. Steady inhales and exhales. Inhale to make your way up. And bring your hands behind you, feet flat on the floor, fingertips facing forward, and lift maybe a little bit or lift all the way up and let your head go back. If it bothers your wrists, turn your fingertips out. Inner thighs spiral down, lengthen butt bones to backs of knees. Chin into chest and lower. Stretching the front of the body, press into the heels, inhale, lifting again. Let the head go back as long as your neck is okay with it. Lengthen through the low back, inner thighs spin down. Chin to chest and lower back to seated. Cross at your shins, roll forward. Make your way onto hands and knees, wrists in front of shoulders, turn the inner elbows forward and then press back. Take your feet as wide as your mat. Grab the sides of your mat with your hands and then stretch. So your arms are wide, shoulders get a little extra space, your feet are wide, and your hamstrings and your hips get a little extra space. Make sure your feet are still parallel. Try to continue to spin your triceps back. Turn your inner upper arms, your biceps forward. Release tension around the neck. Keep your breath steady. Now walk your hands to shoulders distance. And walk your feet to hips distance. Inhale, float the right leg back and up. And exhale, step it up. If it doesn't make it, pick it up, put it there. Take your left knee down. Make sure the right knee is over the ankle. Fingertips on the floor if you can. And now stretch out your front leg. Pull your right hip back. 
If it's hard to reach the floor, take your hands onto your leg, or if you have yoga blocks, you can put your hands on blocks. Now re-bend to the front knee, sinking hips forward. Inhale, circle the arms up. Pull your front ribs in and lengthen through your back ribs to stretch up through the spine. Pull the right hip back. Exhale the hands down. Come to plank pose. Knees can be up or down, your choice. Shift your shoulders forward. Hug your elbows in as you lower to your belly. Untuck the toes, hands by low ribs. Inhale, peel the chest for cobra, just a little baby cobra. Exhale, lower. Tuck your toes under, knees can be up or down, press up to plank, and then lift your hips, down dog. As you inhale, float the left leg back and up. Exhale, step it up by the left hand, take the right knee down. Pat up the back knee if it needs any padding. Left knee over ankle, and then we'll straighten out that leg. Pull the left hip back, folding over the straight left leg. Soften the knee joint though and firm the leg muscles. Remember, you can put hands on blocks or rest them on your leg. Rebend the front knee. Make sure it's over the ankle and then reach up for low lunge. Lengthen your sitting bones down. Lift your frontal hip bones toward the lower ribs and reach up through arrow straight arms. Sweep the hands down. Come to plank pose. Knees can be up or down. Lower slowly to your belly. Come onto the tops of your feet, elbows up. Inhale again to little cobra. And then looking to the right, if you wanna come up higher and your back is okay with it, you may. But widen your chest, pull both shoulders back, looking over the right shoulder. Come to center and lower down. Press your pubic bone down, lengthen your low back, come up, little cobra looking over the left shoulder or a higher cobra looking over the left shoulder. If it bothers your back, do not come up so high. Shoulders away from ears, widen collarbones, bring your chin to center, exhale and lower. Inhale for cobra or up dog, if you're an up dog, thighs and knees up, tuck the toes, exhale to downward facing dog, stretching back here. Just a breath or two, spread your fingers, inhale and come on to your knees and to child's pose. Let the crown of the head come, or the forehead come down. And now take your hands to your low back, interlace your fingers or hook your thumbs. Inhale, start to lift the arms up, but soften the elbow joints. Press the palms together if you can, or you can also hook your thumbs or hold a strap. Release and rest. Release your hands. Then reclasp with your other thumb or your other pinky on top. Roll your shoulders away and lift up. Inhale. Soften your elbow joints. You're not locking them. Using the shoulders to lift instead of pressing through those joints. Release and rest. Nice shoulder stretch for the morning and then come through and sit on your bottom. Roll yourself onto your back. Hips to the right, knees to the left. Look over your right shoulder, if it's okay with your neck. You can also cross your top leg, your right leg over the left if you want a deeper twist. Come to center. And the other side, hips to the left a little, knees to the right, looking over the left shoulder. Feel free to cross the left leg over the right. Just breathing here. Inhale, make your way to center. Hug your knees into your chest. And then feet down. Lengthen your sitting bones toward the backs of the knees. Shoulders away from the ears. Feet flop open. Arms out to the sides. Palms up. Release your forehead muscles, your jaw, and relax. Our quote today comes from Maya Angelou. Nothing can dim the light that shines from within. Quiet mind, quiet body, Shavasana.
And then move your hands and your feet. Big breath as you stretch the arms overhead. Bend your knees, roll to your right. Don't forget to thank yourself for showing up this morning. Good work. You get a gold star. Come up to seated. Hands together. Bring your hands to your forehead, reminding you to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to your heart, reminding you to have clear and loving intentions. And your hands to the mouth, reminding you to have clear and loving communication, sending positive energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. There's something magical about sharing space, energy, and breath. It's connection, community. Join me this summer on a retreat in south of France or Denmark. I guarantee you will have memories that you hold dear for your lifetime. Go to fightmasteryoga.com and get more information.